Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahavra Kakodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who well, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give in sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, a so-called Native American, then you are an Israelite. So it's the brother Karataza, and I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying, all right, to feed the sheep of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, all right? As, and I also want to include you few aqua, you sisters and you children that believe on the name of the Lord Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, all right? So um, I was at the plantation earlier, which the plantation is uh, the job, all right, where we, you know, where we go to get our daily bread, all right, to earn our daily bread. And I have the uh, leisure at my job. I can, uh, you can listen to your headphones at my uh, place of employment. So I'm constantly listening to videos throughout the day. All right. So if the apostles come out with a video, which they do every day, I make sure I, I listen to their video first. All right. As well as the hundreds and of other brothers whose videos pop up, who I can catch. All right. So um, I forgot who, and you know, Slakia, but I forgot what brother had put this scripture in here that I have up on the screen. It's the book of Job, chapter 8. And I'm going to start at verse 8. All right. But as soon as I, uh, the brother had read this scripture, you know, I immediately uh, thought of precepts that can go with this, all right? So uh, enough of me rambling. This is the book of Job, chapter 8, and we're going to start at verse 8, and it reads, For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to, to the search of their fathers, all right? Now, this is uh, Bildad the Shuhite. Uh, speaking to Job, all right. But when I immediate, when I read, when I heard the brother mention in scripture, I immediately thought of Romans chapter fifteen and verse four, and we're gonna grab that. But the point is, we're gonna grab scriptures uh, showing that, hey, the heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Shai gave us th this Bible, the scriptures for us to go back, and for it to be a comfort, basically. All right, hey. Our instructions on life is in the Bible, all right? On everything that we need to do, the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? Uh, repenting, all right? Coming back to the Heavenly Father, everything that was written aforetime is written in the scriptures. So, getting back to into the scripture, this is the book of Job, chapter 8. And we're going to start at verse 8 again. For I inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, meaning time, all right? And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. For we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon the earth, so like upon earth, are a shadow. All right? Yeah, and our days upon earth are a shadow. And I believe it's in the book of Ecclesiastes. It says that uh, our life is but a vapor. All right? And I could, matter of fact, let's grab that precept. All right? Uh let me see here. Life uh, vapor. And it may be in the Apocrypha. Let's go here first. All right. Nothing in the Apocrypha. Hmm. Let me take this out. And if I can't uh, find it, we're going to continue with the lesson. All right. Uh, let me see.
Yep. So it's not it's not uh, coming up, but yeah, like the scripture says, our life is but a vapor. All right. Hey, you got to remember that uh, one a thousand years to the Lord is but a day. All right. That's it's just but a day to the Lord. All right. But it's a it's a thousand years to us. All right. You're roughly paraphrasing. Uh, so continuing on in verse ten, shall not they teach thee and tell thee? In other words, out of their heart, meaning meaning their mind. All right, so Khan, we, we have our forefathers, all right, because it says in verse 8, prepare thyself to the search of their fathers, meaning our forefathers, all right? Those of us that are upon the earth right now, whose spirit has came back in this last time, in these bodies, hey, we have the scriptures, we have our instructions from our forefathers, all right? And our forefathers, hey, we are our forefathers, and we're back right now all right and then we have uh those who uh left uh you know instructions in the scriptures all right so lucky i'm trying to get my words out better so with that we're going to move on to our next precept all right so we can always come us israelites us so-called negroes latinos and native americans we can always come back to these scriptures all right without a doubt and they're going to give us a perfect instruction and Lord willing, I don't want the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is supping with us to where we can understand these uh, scriptures, all right? Hey, brothers, you, hey, matter of fact, let's get that real quick before we go into the book of Job, all right? Let's go here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I want to say, I'm going to try 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All right, kind, kind, good, good. This the water you have about out shot. All script. This is Second Timothy chapter three and verse sixteen. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High Yahweh. Oh, the the uh, man wrote the Bible. Man wrote the Bible. No, all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High Yahweh for our benefit. All right, and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All right, that the man of the Most High Yahweh may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. All right, so kind. All these scriptures are are inspired by the Heavenly Father and are profitable to us. All right, they're profitable to us whether we're receive whether we're receiving a doctrine. All right, whether we're receiving reproof because reproof is part of this doctrine. All right, you're gonna get reproved. All right, for correction. All right, for instruction in righteousness. All right, and and one thing I don't want to slide too far off the topic, but another thing that I have to keep in mind, if a if a brother is reproving me or correcting me, I have to, uh, and I'm just speaking personally for myself, I have to remember that other Akim are watching. All right, so I have to know even if I don't like the correction or the reproof that I'm receiving from elder brothers who've been doing this work longer, who had their hand to the plow longer than me, all right, you you have to take that, all right? You have to take the rebuke. You have to take the re, uh, proof because we've got to remember there's men up under us and they're going to watch how we take reproof and rebuke, all right? You can't be bucking up at our brother, all right, because that's setting a bad example. All right. But anyway, uh, not anyway, but going back into uh, the scriptures, we're going back to Deuteronomy chapter four. And we're going to start at verse 32. And it reads, for ask now of the days that are past. All right. Man, what was going on uh, during uh, 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 the Maccabees? All right. Time. All right. What was what was going on with King David and the mighty men? All right. For ask now of the days that are past, which were before thee, since the day that the Most High Yahweh created man upon the earth and ask from the one side of heaven unto the other, whether there have been any such thing as this great thing is or have there been heard like it. Did ever people hear the voice of the Most High Yahweh speaking out of the midst of the fire as thou hast heard and live? Or have the Most High Yahweh essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation? 
by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretch out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that the Lord Yahweh, your power did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Hey, the Heavenly Father only did that for us, for the Israelites, man. A so-called Negroes, a so-called Latino slash Hispanics, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indians. We have accounts of our deliverances through the scriptures, okay? All we have to do is go back into them, all right? Verse 35, unto thee it was showed that thou mightest know that the Lord Yahweh, he is power. There is none else beside him, all right? And if you don't know, the Heavenly Father about to let you know. All right. Hey, the whole world is going to know. All right. The whole world is going to know the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, verse 36. Out of heaven, he made thee to hear his voice that he might instruct thee. All right. We just got that in uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All right. And upon earth he showed thee his great fire, and thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire. All right. So, hey, we have, uh, it's, man, we have our forefathers. We have these scriptures that we can always go back into, man. All right. We have many accounts. All right. We got Joshua. All right. We got Job, man, just to throw out some names, man. We got, uh, we got Samuel. We got Elijah, Elisha. All right. Hey, we got uh, Caleb. Man, it's just many examples in the scriptures that we can go back to and see what our forefathers did on how we should behave and how we should act. All right. We got Daniel. We got uh, Ananias, Azarias, and Mishael, the three holy children. All right. Which uh, their slaves' names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. All right. Look what they look at the faith that they had in, in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Yahweh delivered them. Out of the fire, he delivered Daniel out of the lion's den. All right. So with that, we're going to grab our next precept. And this time we're going to go to the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. Um, let me see here. This is Romans, chapter 15, and we're going to grab verse 4. And it reads, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort, of the scriptures might have hope. All right. That's why we say you will hear brothers say we're the hopeful elect. All right. This said we might have hope. It's not guaranteed. All right. Hey, many are called, few are chosen. I hope to be the chosen. All right. I know that I've been called to do this work. All right. But uh am I chosen? Hey, that's yet to be seen. That's where the fear comes in. All right. That's where the fear of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai comes in, man. All right. Hey, ain't, hey like brothers, uh, I, f I was watching another brother video. It, it, you never done. Oh, no matter of fact, I remember this. This was the Apostle Ramlop. I was watching his video and he was basically saying that we can never go far doing his work. All right. If you were called into this to do this work, then you have to do it, man. You have to feed the sheep. Whether you get one view on a video no views on the video or thousands of views on the video. Hey, what does the scripture says in the book of um, uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter? Uh, matter of fact, let's grab it. This is going to be the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 9, I believe. Prophesying unto the wind. Yep, come on. Let me highlight this. I can... This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 9, and it reads, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. All right? Hey, these dry bones. All right? Hey, and when we out there on the highways and hedges, Doing videos such as I'm doing now. Hey, man, we're prophesying on to the wind. Hey, this word is going to go out. Even if, if one member of the elect hear this video, all right, then, hey, man, the water you have by Shem was shy. All right, man, my works follow me as well as you other brothers. All right. So uh, with that, uh, we're, we're going to go back into uh, 
Romans chapter uh, 15 and verse 4 and grab that again. This is Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience, all right, and that means suffering, all right, the word patience goes back to suffer, and comfort of the scriptures we might have hope. And these scriptures are comfort, all right? Let's get that in the book of uh, 1 Maccabees, all right, in the Apocrypha. Uh, let me see here. First Maccabees chapter 12 and verse nine, because these scriptures are comfort, man. When all else fails, man, go back and read your favorite scriptures out of the Bible, man. Go back and read scriptures you uh, that you ain't read in, in a long time. All right. And you're going to find comfort in the stories, man. Read the Maccabees. This is first Maccabees chapter 12 and verse nine. Therefore, we also, albeit we need none of these things. That we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. All right. And guess what? Us people, us people on the face of this earth right now, we do have these scriptures in our hands. And guess what? They are a comfort to us. All right. The hopeful elect. All right. But not to these wicked two thirds and most definitely not these heathen nations. All right. This book has be to these other nations. This book has become a terror onto them. All right. Hey, we, hey, what do the scriptures say? They hate the name of the Lord. How about Shem Yaw Shai? This is going to be the book of Malachi. I want to say chapter four. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Salakia Akim. It might be Malachi. Yep, yep. Con, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, and verse 14, and it reads, But cursed be the deceiver, which have in his flock a male, and voweth, and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Right. All right. So, hey, these videos, that's why we, they give us strikes when we make these videos. We don't... Uh, Threaten anybody. We don't use uh, so-called prof profane words. We just bring out the, the word of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, and people get cut to the heart, like it says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 12. Let's get that. See, these scriptures are a comfort to some, but a terror to many others, all right? This is going to be the book of Hebrews, chapter 4 and verse 12. And it reads, for the word of the Most High Yahweh is quick and powerful, all right? Quick, to quicken means to make alive, man. And sharper than any two-edged sword, all right? Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, all right? It says sharper than any two-edged sword. So just like I could be doing this video epistle and somebody could come across it and get cut spiritually. Hey, I could be going off or doing something I'm not supposed to do and I could get cut. All right. I could just be brothers. Hey, a brother could, I could be getting reproved. All right. And a brother could be hitting me with scriptures. I'll be spiritually all cut up and bloody. Or I could just be listening to a brother video. All right. Or watching a video and get cut. It's a two edged sword, man. All right, so with that, uh, we're going to grab one more precept and we can close out. And Lord willing, this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. This is going to be the book of 1 Peter. All right, we're going to grab chapter 1 and we're going to grab verses 11, 12, and 13. All right, let me uh, highlight it. Uh, I'll use purple. Uh, and it reads, searching what or what manner of time... The spirit of Hamashiach Yahushai, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Yahushai Hamashiach and the glory that should follow, unto whom it was revealed, all right, that not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you. With the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels uh, desire to look into. All right. So, Khan, 
the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, he uh had men, all right. Uh the the Lord gave the word, but uh matter of fact, let me grab that. Salaki Akia. I have to grab that real quick. All right, because whatever things were written on the fourth time were written for our benefit. So this is going to be the book of Psalms. I believe it is. I can bear with me. Yep, con, 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 yep. And uh, this is going to be the book of Psalms. I know I said that was the, that uh, this first Peter was the last precept, but I need to uh, prove a point. This is going to be the book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 11. And it reads, the Lord Yahweh gave the word, great was the company of those that published it, all right? And publish means to make public, all right? To make known, all right? So with that, uh, we're going to go back into uh, this First Peter's chapter 1, 11 through 13. Uh, I'm going to read 12 again. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves... But unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Now, here's a good point in verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought onto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, so kind. That's another. This is another scripture that indicates that this work ain't never over with. This work ain't never done. All right. It says, "Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end." We're not at the end yet. The scripture says. He that endures to the end shall be saved. All right. That's Matthew chapter ten and Matthew chapter twenty four. All right. And hope to the end. That's why we say we're the hopeful elect, because no one knows that they're the elect. All right. Uh, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought onto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So with that, I want to say call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Muharakakadash Barakatham, which is I wanted I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Bless you. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who've been laboring his work for decades. All right. Not falling out. All right. The the apostles and elders. Who uh, rule well, labor in his word, double honors to them. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you Akim out there, my fellow laborers that are out here pushing the gospel, which is the good news. All right. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.